Okay, welcome to my Leary Node app demonstration. I don't have an HTML file for this assignment, so I'm going to do this quick little walkthrough of the files included in this project and the functionality of the command line app. So over here on the left, you see my files. Um, I downloaded four NPM packages to create the, the various um, commands here. We uh, downloaded requests, the npm request package, which I used in the movie this function. I also downloaded the Spotify and Twitter npm packages and the .env. And the reason for the last one, which is required right here, require.env, is that it holds the keys. I had to go and register with Twitter and Spotify and get keys. And if those were top secret information, like a password, um, you'd want to hide them in an invisible file like .env. And then in the keys.js, I create um, variables to call those and export those, which I then require right here in Leary.js. And in the get ignore invisible file at, down at the bottom, I've got do not track these files dot env included. So um, that would keep them invisible. If someone were to clone my repo, they wouldn't be able to get a hold of my keys and do something insidious with them. I never used the get ignore file before, so that was um, one new thing about this exercise. So here we go in the Leary.js file, which is the main file. I got the variables up here and the required key, um, excuse me, required um, files and functions. And I've also got process RV here um, in the zero based array. Um, spots two and three will be my commands. And then two of the commands, you tell it what movie or you tell it what song and those will be the uh, information in spot three of that array. So here is my switch to create my commands and then the accompanying functions are called which you'll see here in a minute below there's also a default so if, if you don't type in any of these commands after node leary.js you'll get this information so why don't we just try it and see what it looks like so from the terminal i don't want this yet And here's my four commands, my tweets, Spotify this song, movie this, and do what it says. And I forgot, I think I already let it do this. So I'm going to erase this and close it. And then you'll see right here, let's just start from the bottom up this time. I've done this video a couple of times <laughs> trying to figure out how to make the video work. So let's do leary.js. Whoops, let's put the note in there. There's the uh, default again. So the do what it says command. Um, call Spotify the song with sign. And if we look in the random.txt file using fs write, it wrote this to the random.txt, which is what we were asked to do. So then we go back to Leary.js. Let's type in another one of the commands. How about Spotify this song? And that one is going to bring up from the Spotify API. I'm going to move this a little bit so you can see it. Um, the system only dreams in total darkness by the national. Here's a preview URL. And then the album that the song came from, Sleep Well Beast, which I highly recommend. The next command I'll show you is I think I accidentally, oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Twitter, my tweets. And this was just a dummy uh, account that I set up. So this isn't all the tweets I've ever had, but it, it's uh, enough to show you that I was able to access the Twitter API and pull my texts, my tweets from it. 
and I said, yay, I can't wait till my 100th tweet, and you think this is special? Wait till you see these on my console.log. Ha ha. It's a little uh, programmer joke there. <laughs> and then finally, um, Larry.js, movie this. And I'm going to, it says I already checked the sting, but I'm going to type in, whoops, and I need my little there, hair. And here's the title. This is all come from the IMDB um, API. The title, the year, the, the rating, Rotten Tomatoes rating, a short plot summary, and the actors, some of whom you probably heard of, Beverly D'Angelo, Treat Williams, and John Savage. I loved this movie when I was a kid. So anyway, that's how Larry Node app worked for me, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thanks so much.